for a 39-yard attempt. 39-yard attempt for McLaughlin. Footing not great, it's blocked. Brian Ford after it, Flutie batting it out of bounds. Saves some yards for the Stamps. Get away from the plate, clearly. Knock the ball. He can't do it. Now you take a look, that's Jordan Allen. That's the special team coach in the middle that's getting so excited about it. Coach Ritchie going down and calming him down a bit because they don't want to get a penalty against the bench in this case. Good surge up the middle. Hands coming up. And it is awfully hard from that angle just to see who did get their hand up to knock it down. Looked like it could have been Ray Alexander who blocked the putt. I thought that was a pretty heads-up play by Flutie. Let's see if it's 88 Alexander. Yes, it is. Exactly. Ray Alexander again at 6'4", showing what we had talked about earlier. Some of that vertical jump that he has. So the ball is at the 43-yard line of the Lions. 125 to go. Five points is the lead. BC can win with the touchdown. McManus as Flutie and Alondra Johnson all over him again. Well, Darren Flutie has been the key weapon this afternoon for BC. A couple of touchdowns, 137 yards on nine catches on the other side of the ball. Not many better than Alondra Johnson. Be patient, Danny Mack has to be patient. This Calgary defense is not going to give him the home run ball. They're going to make him work for it down the field. Yep, they're taking their time. The clock's running. Second down, out in the flat. Complete, Matt Clark. Junior Thurman keeps him inbounds. 101 left. What a gutsy call this time on this turf, on this kind of footing. You throw the wide side out in second and about seven yards. Junior Thurman playing a soft cushion behind. Keep everything in front of you. Don't let any of these receivers get behind you. Matt Clark doing an excellent job of looking that ball in. Last team to have a home game in the Grey Cup. The BC Lions in 83. They're a touchdown away. But time a factor. First down, McManus. A lot of steamboats looking deep. Ray Alexander going up. Can't bring it down. Alexander was open. But Gerald Vaughn recovering for the Stampeders. McManus had plenty of time to throw the ball downfield, but at the last minute, he sees Ray Alexander going down. He just did not get an opportunity to plant his feet and get enough oomph and velocity on that ball to hang it out there a little further. Alexander was behind Vaughn by a step or two, but they had to wait on the ball, and then it became a jump ball. From huddle till the ball dropped incomplete, they used 23 seconds, 39 to play. Second down, McManus to Clark, complete, tied up. He'd like to get out of bounds, and Thurman all over, or Kraft all over him. Matt Clark having his best game of the season. 32 seconds to go, and now the Lions will operate without a huddle. Tough to see the yards here, but they are at the 38. 38 yards separating BC from a trip to the Grey Cup. Chris says to see the one line they need. That's the goal line. First down, McManus, more time. Has a completion. And it's Joe Murphy hanging on. 23 seconds to play. At the 26, looks like it's a first down, and it is. Unbelievable. Wally Buono's team now is on the ropes. Big Daddy Marvin Pope comes out of the middle. They bring in another back, defensive back, Coleman. First down, again, McManus with time, looking for Alexander. Alexander, no! They say he's out of bounds, he makes the catch. Eric Flutie, number 82, is ruled out of bounds. 12 seconds left. And Alexander almost spoiled the party here at McMahon. Second and 10, BC at the Calgary. You can almost tell by the reaction of the receiver. Alexander's not making much of an argument about it. The 
catch is made, and he is significantly out of bounds. Oh, he dropped the football on the contact with the turf. 12 seconds left. Stamp Peters haunted by the loss in 93. This would be devastating. Can they hang on against McManus and the Lions? A dozen seconds to play. This is second down. McManus, open receiver, Flutie! And what an amazing catch! How did he hang on? Darren Flutie, number 82, with the catch for the beat. They're Lions. inside the five on as good a catch as you'll ever see. And goal to go for the Lions at the stage. Catches it in between two defenders. That's Coleman and also Kenton Leonard. What a great touch pass. Time out Calgary with five seconds to go. Well, Kep, we made you a defensive coordinator at the start. They may only have time here for one. How about a play call for BC? They were down. Spread your receivers out across the field. Make that Calgary defense spread out with you and try to operate just a quick throw inside. See if you can get a good quick release. And, and my guess has got to be the guy, Darren Flutie. I'm going to guess that. Calgary's defense will probably guess that. If worse comes to worse, quarterback draw with Danny McManus. At the four-yard line, four yards separating McManus and the Lions they from split. a trip to the Grey Cup. Doesn't get better than this. McManus in zone. Touchdown, Lions! BC's going to the Grey Cup! Fifth break two years in a row at McMahon Stadium. And Dave Ritchie has the biggest of upsets. Chris, this whole place is absolutely stunned. Well, Doug Flutie beaten again. This time by his brother. And you have to hand it to Darren Flutie. Danny McManus with a brilliant relief job for the Lions. Darren Flutie celebrating his third touchdown of the game. An amazing drive for the Lions in the final minute. Well, Ken Austin, he set it up with a brilliant offensive performance. He was knocked out, but McManus kept it going for BC. There are the brothers. Embracing both were brilliant today. But Darren Flutie's out of the shadow. A big brother. Terrific team effort by the BC offensively, defensively, handing the ball off from Ken Austin down to Danny McManus and Darren Flutie with a great afternoon. It's BC and Baltimore in the 94 Great Cup.